Yo guys and welcome back to the channel, my name is Luna and today's review is about the newest Nike SB Dunk Low in collaboration with Gnar Wonders. As some of you know, this dunk was made by Alyssa Steamer. Um, some of you may know her from her skateboarding because she's a pro skater. She's also very famous in the skateboarding world. But her company, Knar Hunters, is actually a surf and skate company. You might also uh, know Knar Hunters from their uh, previous collab on the Laser High. It was in 2019. This was also a very simple release and it looked like this. So just a fully plain black and white shoe. So the way how I got this pair is actually really funny. So I just went on a Saturday to the city of Antwerp and I visited my local skate shop and they were right there on the shelf. So I wanted to look if they still got my size. They said, yeah, yeah, we still have your size. So I immediately bought them. It was such a cool pair. So they come in this um, yeah Nike SB rainbow box, which is actually one of my favorite boxes at Nike. It's just, looks really cool and it gives like this kind of more exclusive feeling to the dunk. The only disadvantage to my uh, skate shop is that the retail there is 130 instead of 110 euros. So I was actually very happy I could grab them in my own size. This is a size US 9. So this is the newest Nike SB uh, Gnar Hunters. As you can see it's a really plain shoe. It's just plain black with this simple white sole. But if we go and take uh, a more detailed look at the shoe, you are going to see that they use some pretty dope materials on the shoe. So the first thing I want to start off with is actually this very cool nose tab. It is a bit padded and yeah, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's really slippery and also a bit shiny. It's made of neoprene and neoprene is a material that is actually based on the wetsuit you wear while surfing. So this is a really cool ID to use this same neoprene uh, materials. Also, it's a bit padded, so some people were actually afraid the neoprene was gonna break while skating, because every time you wanna do a trick, you use your uh, nose tap to actually slide on the grip tape. But <clears throat> uh, Alice said that it, was, uh, it wasn't gonna break very easily, because under there, there is some sort of a steady leather that is going to prevent the neoprene from ripping. The neoprene can also be found on the, uh, yeah, of course, the nose tab. Also the lacing holes and then right here, the flaps on the side of the shoe. And then when we move on to the toe box, you're gonna see they've chosen for a very soft and kind of spongy material. And this material is actually inspired by a towel you take with you when you go to the beach to go surfing. So this is also a really cool um, representation of uh, this shoe because it's made all around the real surfing vibe. Very good for summer, but we can again find this spongy material right here on your mid panels and also on the sock liner. Then when we move on to our swooshes, maybe like uh, my favorite part of the shoe, you're gonna see it's black with a lot of pieces of white in it. So at first I thought it was a flaw, but then when I read the backstory, this is actually based on a waxed surfboard. Um, yeah, they wax their boards to make it less slippery. So 
So one thing I really like about removable swooshes is that you can switch them out with a lot of other swooshes from other shoes. For example, the ones from the SP Dunk High Gundam. The unicorns had a really cool yellow and very blocky one and it looked like this. So I think that it's gonna look perfectly on this shoe. Also a cool detail about the shoe is that normally um, yeah, the logo on the back is embroidered, but now it's just pressed on there and it actually feels kind of loose So I think it's gonna come off really easily when you wear them. Also beneath the text we get this very cool Neo Prime again Then when we move on to the tongue you get this also this very cool neoprene uh, tongue, it's the complete tongue is covered in neoprene. And then also right here get the Nike Knorr Hunters logo, again pressed on and not embroidered. Another very cool detail about the shoe are actually the laces. So now it's just like on the Yeezy, it's an infinity lace, but it can be really handy when skating because you don't want loose laces. They're also very stretchy and very round. Um, this is actually inspired by the wristband you wear while surfing so your board doesn't yeah, like float away in the ocean when you fall uh, off your board. You can keep it with you with this kind of wristband. Move on to the midsole of the shoe, you're gonna see that it's a completely black midsole, and then on the outside, you get your white outsole with in the middle your Nike SB patch. And now, of course, like I do in all of my videos, let's do a very sick off feed. So this was my review about the Nike SB Dunk Low in collaboration with Gnar Hunter. Hope you like it. So if you like my videos, please go on and press that blue thumbs up. Go and subscribe down below and also don't forget to follow my social media. I post a lot on my story when I win shoes for example. So when you see um, that a shoe is posted on the Instagram, you can already guess what's going to happen. I'm gonna make a video of it and post it right here on YouTube. And now. I see you in the next video, ciao!